Thank you for joining me to learn more about using Reference USA. My name is Michelle Long and I'm a CPA and I also have an MBA in entrepreneurship. I'm the owner of Long for Success as well as an international speaker where I've been able to help accountants and bookkeepers literally around the world to learn more about using QuickBooks. Today I'm glad to be helping you to learn more about getting a targeted list of potential new clients that can help you to grow your practice. Specifically, we're going to be talking about Reference USA. This is a great database for targeted marketing and it helps you to obtain a list of potential clients in a specific industry. Maybe you want to focus on beauty shops and barbers or maybe you want to focus on construction workers or plumbers or electrician or party planners. Whatever it is, you can filter and look for that specific type of industry. You can also filter by geographic areas. Maybe you're looking for new businesses. Maybe you've got a tax practice and you want some new tax clients so you want to do a direct mail campaign to some individuals. I'm going to show you how you can get a list of these various potential clients to help you with your marketing efforts. Keep in mind Reference USA is free from many public libraries. You may be able to access it from home. If not, you'll have to go into the library to use their computers to access it. But if you are able to access it from home, you probably will need to have a library card, but you can usually get those for free. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into my library's website so I can show you how to access it and use it. So I'm going to go ahead and look under the online information under research databases. Yours might be a little different and if you have trouble finding it um, on your library website just ask the librarians they can help you to locate it. Um, but I'm going to click on research databases and I'm going to click on alphabetical list because I know it's under reference USA so I'll look under the R's click on Reference USA and now this is going to take me into the database because I've already signed in and put my library card number in there. Um, so keep in mind you will need a library card. So I'm going to first thing of, is go into the US businesses. If you're from Canada there's a section in here for Canadian business as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on US businesses and I usually go in under the advanced search tab so I'll click on that one and now again you need to have in mind what it is that you want to target what type of businesses so in this example I'm gonna go through and show you different ways that you can filter and search for these inform these potential clients but you need to kind of focus on who is your target you know what type of businesses are you looking for now here's your search criteria over on the left hand over here I don't want to search by company name because I'm looking for all of these potential businesses and again I don't want to search by executive name what I do want to search by is keyword or SIC or NAICS code if I click on keyword this is where you would type in what are you looking for maybe it's construction uh, maybe it's plumbers or electricians or party planners, whatever it is you're looking for. I'm going to pretend we're looking for beauty salons. So I'll type in beauty salons and hit enter and it will pull up some businesses um, by NAICS code here and I can choose which ones that I would like to look at. And it's taken a little bit longer than normal. Let me go ahead and click on search again. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and choose beauty salons right here and I could also choose barbers. Now you can see there's different things out here. I don't want equipment and supplies but I do want barbers. Here's children's hair salon, makeup studios. There's different things that you could choose. I'm just going to do beauty salons and barber shops. Now as it is right now I would be getting about 15 million results over here. So you can see over here this record count and I can update that count to see exactly how many. Well, I had 15 million small businesses and it quickly took me down to 267,000. That's still way too many, <laughs> so I want to filter it. So that's where I'll look at by geography. You could do your entire metro area or you can do specific zip codes. I usually like to do a specific zip code. So I'm going to come down here and let's put in a couple of zip codes you can choose how many zip codes you want to put in um, and that will of course affect the results of what you're going to get. I'm going to put a couple of zip codes in there. Then I could, you know, I don't really want to search for phone numbers because I'm just looking for all businesses in a certain area. 
Um, I could filter based on number of employees or sales volume if I wanted to by ownership, you know, public or private. Do you want a home-based business or government offices? I'm not going to search for any of that. So I'm going to go ahead and close those little sections. I also want small businesses. So the financial data is not something that I want to filter based on. Now, under special select, sometimes I do like to choose a web address. And when I click on these fields, then it gives me the search codes over here. So under web address, I could search for only companies with the web address or maybe only you know companies without. So you can choose what you want to do. So let's go ahead and just say we want only companies that have a website. And then there's other criteria that you could look for out here. Let's go ahead and click on view the results, see what we've got out here. Now, I only got 18 records here, um, which isn't too bad, but I might want to add some additional zip codes in there um, if you want to target more of them. One thing I'm going to point out to you, so I've got these list of businesses that meet the criteria that I put in, beauty salons or barbers, and in those two zip code areas with a website. Um, so that's why it's a little smaller. If I took, it, took out the and did with or without a website, if I took that criteria out, it would increase the number of results that I got. So I could click on revise search, come back over here, and let's scroll down under web address, and let's remove that one. And now let's view our results, and now let's see how we got. That bumped me up to 26 results. So you can kind of change the criteria and kind of affect how many results you're going to get. One thing I would point out to you down at the bottom here, see where it says you can only download 250 results per search. So you might want to do, you know, certain geographic areas or something to keep it under 250. Or if you go over that, you kind of have to pay attention to what you've downloaded and you have to download things in groups. Um, that's one of the things about this being free because companies actually sell these targeted lists for lots of money. So the ability to go in and get it for free is a big plus, but you do have that download limitation. Something else I want to point out to you, some of them have this little icon over here under corporate tree along with an up, a little up arrow here. So, for example, beauty brands, that's a national chain. Um, and so you'll if you click up, it will take you up to the parent company that owns the, you know, like this particular location. So if you wanted to target, you know, chains or franchises, that's a good opportunity that you can do that. You can see we've got some fantastic Sam's down here. They've got some corporate trees. There's a great clips. Those are some of the large chains that are available in the beauty beauty salon industry. Um, so you could go ahead and click on this if you wanted to to see who owns it. So if I click on that up arrow, it will show me Beauty Brands Management Office here. And I could then get the information for the corporate headquarters for that store. Um, so that's what those indications are over here. So if I wanted to get some information, let's say I wanted to see some details on Akira. I could go ahead and click on Akira Spa and I can see their address and their phone number so I could contact them. I can scroll down and I can see they have seven employees, their approximate sales volume, um, see, see information like the square footage of their location and uh, you scroll down get some additional information like on their business expenditures and these are estimated amounts. Um, sales volumes by year, employee size by year. Um, so you can get a lot of great detailed information on these companies to help you kind of get a feel for them before you wanted to reach out and contact them. Or maybe you uh, you at the library and you want to download this, take it home with you so that you can do additional follow-up and you know contact them later or something. I could choose to download this by clicking right here and that would select all of them on the first page which is 25 at a time but notice right here it says I have two pages because I have 26. So I can go ahead and click on the next one and I could collect or select it as well then. Then when you're ready to download these, I could go ahead and click here on download. And I usually will export this to Excel. And I usually do a custom report so that I can select the exact fields that I would like to download. So I want to make sure that I'm able to download, let's say, also the website and the phone number. So you can scroll through all of this information and choose exactly which fields and what information it is that you want to download. 
I usually find though if I download everything, all data, it's way more information than I usually want or need because I don't really want all of that information. Um, so you can pick and choose what you want. Then you can go ahead and download those records and this is going to give me an Excel file here. I could go ahead and click on it. If I were in the library, I could also email those records to myself instead of downloading them. If you didn't have a, a way to get them, you could email them to yourself. Then here's my list and it's got all the fields and all the information that we wanted to download, um, including the website information where you can learn more about them there. So that was a list of businesses. Now let's go back and see, let's say um, you wanted to do a direct mail campaign to individuals. Maybe you want to look for tax clients. Um, I could come on over here under the white pages and I could look for individuals this way where I could do a direct mail campaign, let's say to a specific neighborhood um, to target that neighborhood. So let's look and let's, we don't want to see name, phone number. So under geography, I maybe want to look for a specific zip code. So let's put 64086 for one and 64081, get a couple of them out there. And then let's say I also want to target high income individuals. So I could say estimated home income and maybe I want to choose 300, 400 and 500. So 300,000 and above, maybe those are the ones that I wanted to, to look at. So let's go ahead and view those results. And this is where you also could put in a specific address. Let's say that as you're looking at this and maybe you want to go to a heat map, a heat map is going to give you a map of all of these individuals in this area um, by geographic area, it's going to show you where most of them are located. So based on this, I can see there's a lot of high income people over here in these neighborhoods. And there's also a lot of high income people right in here. So maybe I want to find out what neighborhood that is. Um, so I could go ahead, let's zoom in here on this area. And I just happen to know this area. So I know this is the Longview neighborhoods over here and this is the Winter, Winter Park and uh, Winterset Park and Winter, Winterset Valley over here. Um, so I could actually target those neighborhoods. I could zoom in here and I could get a specific address for one of these. Um, so like let's say I click on this and I get this address. Once I have that address, then I can go back into my search results. So let's go back to my results and I could put that address in and filter um, for a specific radius. See where it says radius right here on the left under geography. I could put that address in there and then I could say everybody within like say one mile or a mile and a half of that address to target a specific neighborhood. Um, and here you can also do specific neighborhoods as well. Um, and it gives you a field where you can choose that specific neighborhood. This is a great opportunity for you to download and do a direct mail campaign to specific individual neighborhoods. Um, so that's another great way that you could use this. Um, there's also a couple of other databases that you might want to check out. Um, so you've got U.S. businesses as well as Canadian. And then also for individuals, you've got the U.S. and Canadian white pages. Maybe you want to target new businesses. You could look at those out there. Um, you could also look for new homeowners or new movers. People who have moved recently might be a good target for you as well. So think about your target, who you're trying to reach, which potential clients are you trying to get, and then you can use this free database, Reference USA, to help you to get that targeted list and ultimately help you grow your practice.